If you have a cool image that you'd like to add motion blur to, I'm going to show you how you can do this in Adobe Photoshop. Let's get into it. First things first, we need to go ahead and open up our image into Photoshop. In this example, I'm going to be using this image of a car. Now to start off with, we need to go over to the padlock on the layer and click it. That's going to enable us to edit the layer and manipulate it however we want to. Next, what we need to do is go ahead and duplicate this layer. We can do this by clicking on the layer, going down to the plus icon at the bottom and letting go. And this is going to duplicate the layer and give us two versions of this layer. Now this top layer I'm going to call foreground. And this bottom layer I'm going to call background. Now the reason for doing this is we're going to apply a motion blur to the background while keeping the car in the foreground and in focus. Next what we need to do is cut out this image of the car on the foreground layer. We can do this by going over to the magic wand tool and clicking select subject. As you can see it's not done the most amazing job in the world but we can fix that when we apply the mask. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is go down to the mask tool, it looks a little bit like a rectangle with a circle in it and just click it. Now if I hide this background layer we can see that this has cut out parts of the car and parts of the background and what I'm going to go ahead now and do is use my eraser tool and my brush tools to fix this up a little bit. Now we have our selection of the car amended we can go ahead and re-enable that background layer makes it look like nothing happened and now what we want to go ahead and do is add a motion blur to this background layer. We can do this by going up into the filter panel going down to blur and choosing motion blur. As you can see, it's only added a little bit of a soft blur and we can alter this and make it look a bit more extreme if we want to. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is change the angle of my blur so that it matches the direction that the car is facing and moving in. So that looks about right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the amount of blur that is in the image. So if I just keep bringing that up. You do have to fine tune this to make it perfect for your image. You do have to play around with it a little bit, but I'm pretty happy with what we've got there. All you have to do now is press OK. And there you have it. You've added motion blur to your image and that's all there is to it. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and comment your thoughts below. And for more creative fix tutorials, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.